Have you ever felt like you're your own worst enemy, constantly battling that negative voice in your head that tells you you're not good enough? What if I told you that that voice in your head is lying to you? This is actually a problem that a lot of people deal and struggle with, but it's not something that's impossible to overcome. I want to try and explain why so many people are struggling with this and how you can control this negative voice in your head with a few techniques. Now, see, 87% of our self-talk is negative. So you've got to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to say yes to your dreams. Why not? Why not me? So in order to overcome this, we need to understand what it is and why it happens. Self-doubt is that nagging feeling that whispers in our head. You're not enough. You can't do this. It often stems from past experiences, where failures and criticisms may have left a mark. It can come from comparing ourselves to others, which only highlights the unique path each of us walks. It may arise from setting impossibly high standards for ourselves, fearing failure, or lacking the support that we need. But here's the truth, you're capable of far more than you realize. Your worth is not determined by past failures or how you measure up to someone else. Self-doubt is a universal experience. It doesn't discriminate based on age, gender, race, or status. From the young college student getting ready for an exam to the seasoned professional completing a career move, we all have moments of uncertainty. This is a sign of our humanity. It shows that we care deeply about our pursuits and that we're mindful of our potential impact. The problem is that it's coming out in a negative way. So how do we deal with this? Firstly, you personally need to understand the triggers that fuel your self-doubt. By pinpointing what sets off these negative thoughts, you gain insight on their origins and can begin to dismantle them. This process involves constantly shifting your focus from what you perceive as flaws. These negative thoughts aren't absolute truths, but rather reflections of past experiences or expectations. Ask yourself, is this doubt based on fact or is it just a distorted version of myself? More often than not, you'll find that these doubts aren't rooted in reality but unprocessed fears or events from your past. To combat them, you need to challenge these inner critics head on. Speaking of which, let's talk about challenging those negative thoughts and practice becoming more familiar with how we deal with them. It's easy to get caught in a loop of negativity where one doubtful thought might lead to another. Our minds have a tendency to focus on our flaws and our failures, often magnifying them far beyond their reality. These thoughts can be daunting. By confronting these negative thoughts and pushing through the discomfort of them, we open ourselves up to the possibility of growth and success. The more we challenge these thoughts, the more we expand our capacity to deal with them. The same way athletes and performers practice extensively to overcome self-doubt and improve their skills, we can also build confidence through constant effort and exposure to new challenges. Every expert was once a beginner, and each step you take towards mastering something new is a step towards strengthening your belief in yourself. You will pick up their ways, you'll pick up their habits, you'll pick up, most importantly, their attitude about life. If you're around cynical, negative people all the time, you will become cynical and negative. Another good way to combat self-doubt is by surrounding yourself with people who uplift and inspire you. The company you keep has a large impact on your self-perception and confidence. Positive, supportive people can influence your self-worth and offer encouragement when you falter. Negative people can destroy it and bring you down. Over time, these people and their attitudes can and will have an effect on you. Surround yourself with people who believe in you, who celebrate your successes, and provide constructive feedback rather than criticism. The energy you surround yourself with can either empower you or drain you. Choose to be around those who uplift you. If you begin to look at yourself, you've got to redefine yourself. Who are you right now? And who must you become in order to create what you want? What has to change about you? Who you surround yourself with is important, but ultimately, conquering self-doubt is a personal battle. It's essential to be kind to yourself and not let your mind become your biggest enemy. Kindness towards yourself is often the most challenging yet vital aspect of overcoming self-doubt. We can be our own harshest critics, setting unrealistic standards and beating ourselves for our perceived failures. When you make a mistake or face a setback, Instead of self-deprecating, acknowledge your efforts and learn from your mistakes. You have to realize that making mistakes is part of the journey. You're not defined by your mistakes, but how you respond to them. Don't just be kind to yourself. Actually know your self-worth. Self-worth is not contingent on external validation or achievements. It's something that's intrinsic that comes from recognizing your unique qualities, talents, and inherent worth you possess as an individual. 
Each one of us has a unique set of gifts and perspectives that contributes to your own individual value. Self-doubt often clouds our vision, making it difficult to see those qualities clearly. When you truly understand and appreciate your value, you're less likely to be swayed by negative thoughts or the opinions of others. The most successful people aren't those who have never doubted themselves, but those who have acted despite of their doubts. They understood that courage is not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. Every step you take in the face of self-doubt is a step towards becoming the person you want to become. Believe in yourself, not because you're flawless, but because you're strong enough to overcome your doubts. I found that the biggest enemy you have to deal with is yourself. There's an old African proverb that says, if there's no enemy within, the enemy outside can do us no harm. In conclusion, overcoming self-doubt can be challenging, but it's constant effort and the right strategies that's possible to build confidence and trust in yourself. Overcoming self-doubt is a gradual process. Be patient with yourself and stay committed to building a more confident and self-assured version of yourself. But let me know what you think. Are there any methods or strategies that you've used to overcome self-doubt that I missed? I'd love to hear your take in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. With that said, I'm Kale, and I hope you all make the most out of every moment that lies ahead.